This is Macy Martell. I'm Rebecca Dominguez with the Oakleaf News, the SRJC student newspaper. And we're reporting on the rape that occurred Thursday, August 20th, here in the women's bathroom in Barnett Hall. We're talking to students on campus about their reaction to the incident and what measures they think could be implemented at the school to make the campus more safe. We first asked students if they knew about the rape on campus and how they were informed. My aunt sent me a description of what happened, and then after that I saw a link on Facebook to one of the articles. Facebook, a friend shared it. Yeah, I, in fact I read about it this morning in the Press Democrat um, through an email um, from the police. It was either the police or, or the Ricardo email, I'm not sure. We then asked if this incident affected their views of safety on campus. So yeah, I mean it's the same bathroom I used last semester, so yeah, it definitely makes me more aware and a bit nervous. As long as it's not coming a common occurrence, I don't think that uh, we're in any more danger than we were a week before. Well, I was really surprised because I've been attending classes here at the JC in room 1275 um, for the last four semesters, and they've always been uh, in the evening from six to nine, and so, um, and I always use this restroom because the other nice restrooms close. Yeah, so at night, both buildings are pretty dark and isolated from the campus. Um, I know I was taking a night class in the science building, and then when you get out of class, that the building um, is kind of like shaped weirdly, where there's a lot of corners, so it's pretty dark. So if you're having a night class in one of those buildings that it's not well lit, it's kind of scary because you. Kn I know that if something happened, people there's not that many people around that they would hear, and there's no cameras, and there's not as much light, so it's pretty dark. We then wondered what measures they thought could be implemented to secure campus safety. One of my classmates, it's interesting that this happened because one of my classmates um, was kind of scared to have a class at night and I said, oh, you can call campus police and I gave her the number, 527-1000 I believe it is, mm -hmm. and they will give you a, a private escort to your car, it's no problem. And, and so, I mean, I never used that service, but I always knew that it was available. I would definitely like to see more um, security on campus, absolutely, yeah. More lighted areas, but you know, I've walked through the campus at night last semester and nobody's around. I mean, I'm walking from the business department out towards the um, parking area and I'm always checking over my back, but nobody's around, and it's kind of, you know, scary. Virginia Kerr, VP of Student Life, also had something to say about the incident. Um, there's always room for improvement. Uh, I think one thing I'd like to see is more kind of a, a student initiative to provide services, you know, student-led initiatives to provide services, you know, about um, reporting incidences and um, uh, just making sure that there's kind of like peer-to-peer -peer counseling. Um, I've always been interested in students being able to provide counseling to another student. So, uh, for example, if somebody was to come to me and say, uh, as a student leader, say, um, you know, I had this happen to me, um, that we're able to respond and know who to get in contact with and um, know all of the laws regarding their privacy and how to protect them, and, but more importantly, how to help them. We had the opportunity to speak to Bert Epstein, Assistant Director of Student Health Services, to ask what services the mental health programs could provide. Uh, well, for counseling, um, we're happy to see anyone who has been affected um, uh, in any kind of way and students can come and meet with us and we're happy to provide a therapist to talk with them. Um, there's no charge for that and um, we can see what kind of services might be best for them if it's to continue to meet with us or if there's someone in the community that would work well for them. Sometimes people are triggered uh, if they hear about something that happened to someone else, mm -hmm. um, there may be something in someone's past and they may not have been thinking about it for a really long time and then they hear about news on campus and um, suddenly they become a bit triggered and realize that it's something they really do need to talk to someone about. SRJC student president Josh Panala talked about the incident and proposed how we could prevent this from happening again. The student government wants to do what it can to make sure that students feel safe at the junior college. Uh, recently there was some, some policy created, some college policy that ensures confidentiality and uh, protection for anyone who knows 
about anyone who's been sexually assaulted. Um, and I'd, I, I'm hoping to spread that information to everyone. Uh, we're hoping to create a campaign, a poster campaign, I believe, to even put it in bathrooms to just let people know that if you or you know or someone you know has been sexually assaulted, that the college is there to support you, and uh, we can do whatever we can to make sure that this stops at the junior college.